Today what I wanted to do was uh, a video on how to set up dual monitors for a laptop as well as a PC. So what I want to do is start off with the laptop first because that's it takes literally like two seconds. Okay folks, so um, we're going to hook up the laptop to the additional monitor, just this monitor here. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have this special port here. It's called a VGA or a VGA output port. Uh, I believe every computer or every laptop has this now. And as you can see here, this cord here is my cord for my laptop. It has a VGA connector here as well. So I'm just gonna plug this into here. Okay, it's in. Now what you have to do is go into your laptop. I have this, I think this is Windows XP here. Uh, what you have to do is go into the display properties. Uh, you can either go through the control panel and then go to your display properties or you can simply just right click somewhere on the desktop. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I just, let me do it again. I'll right click, I'll go to properties here, and then this display properties window will pop up. And then what you want to do, uh, let me move this in a little bit. You know, I don't even know if you can see this, but you want to click on the settings tab right here. I'm going to click that. And then you can see here, it's showing two monitors here. So what you want to do is click on the monitor where you can see this uh, extend my windows desktop onto this monitor. So let me go ahead and extend that now. And then I'm going to click apply. And then this monitor should pop up. It's, okay, there it is. We have something here. Okay, perfect. Now, see, the thing is, I have my my lap my laptop is a little bit below my monitor, and it's kind of like on a diagonal um, area here. So, what you want to do is kind of play around. You know, um, let me click on identify and see which monitor is which. Okay, number one is my laptop, and number two is my actual monitor. So we know my monitor is kind of down here in this angle, and my monitor's in this angle. I'm going to click apply and then here's my mouse you can see it here I'm going to move this up move all the way to the right and boom there you go you can see my uh, my mouse here so that's pretty much the setup for the laptop let me go ahead and proceed now to hooking up dual monitors to your PC okay so we're going to set up dual monitors onto my PC now the first thing that you have to do is you have to make sure you have a video card or a graphics card that's compatible, um, capable of handling dual monitors. Like this is my setup here I have. Now see this video card right here? I have an extra one in my computer now. And this is only, this one here is only like 128 megs. Um, it's a PCI Express. The one I have in my computer I think it's like one gig PCI Express and I can tell you I see absolutely no difference you know if uh, if you're just trading or surfing the web using dual monitors but if you're like gaming then you definitely want to go something you know higher but like I said this is a 128 meg and I have a one gig in there right now and I cannot tell no difference so basically both of my monitors like you can see here both of these monitors they don't have to be the same monitor either but I have uh, two of the same monitors both of them have this VGA connector here okay but when I bought this video card it came with a DVI output as well as a VGA. So because both of my monitors have this connector, what you can simply do is buy one of these VGA uh, to DVI adapters. I think I paid like $5 shipped with this little gadget here. But instead of buying this little piece here, if you do have, um, both of your monitors do have both of the uh, VGA output, you can actually buy a video card that has two of these. Instead of this DVI and this VGA, you can actually get one video card that has two of these on there. Now, of course, you want to make sure uh, you want to look at your motherboard or your, um, your computer manual to see what kind of slot it supports. Like my computer has a, um, it supports a PCI Express. Oops which is this one here, and it also supports an AGP. 
And I do believe um, if your computer was, if you purchased your computer within the last like five years, it's going to have a PCI Express. So this will fit perfect. Uh, this, like I said, this one here is only 128 meg. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this one. And it works just as good. I mean, I can't even tell a difference. Okay, so once you have, once you um, install the graphics card, what you want to do, is, and of course you plug both of the monitors into the graphics card, what you want to do is um, go to your desktop. I think this is XP as well on here. You want to just uh, right click. You want to go to properties on your desktop. And, or you can simply go into the control panel and then go into your display properties. And then you want to, it's pretty much the same thing as the laptop. Now you just want to click on setting and then you'll see here, okay, you know, there's two monitors here. Now what we want to do is identify, or actually we want to be able to click this down here where it says extend my Windows desktop onto this monitor. So let me click on number two. Okay, now it's not grayed out. I'm going to check it. I'm going to, I'm going to apply it. And hopefully this monitor comes on as well. Perfect. Now we can see, let me see if I can move the mouse. Okay, perfect. See how that, see the mouse here? And oop, there it is. Now if, if you, because my computers are side by side, now if you have a computer, uh, let's say you have one above the other, you can simply just, you know, play around with this here. And then you, you can, you would be able to move it up and down from here. Okay, so once you have um, both of them configured, basically what you can do, you can do several things. You can actually just have your platform running on one side, and on the other side, you can just um, you know research uh, economic news or check your email or whatever you want to do on the other side. And another thing you can do is actually, if you're a trading platform, if you have a forex uh, or or um, or even a stocks or or futures platform. What you can do is move all, you know, you can actually move a lot of the charts onto your other monitor as well. However, this right here I have is the MetaTrader 4 platform uh, for Forex trading. Unfortunately, you cannot detach these windows. So if you wanted to see more charting, what you would do, you can just like uh, stretch this. Uh, let me see here. Uh, hold on, give me one second here. Bear with me. Uh, there we go. So let me just like stretch that across. And let me make sure this is tiled horizontally. And there you go. And you can have it that way as well. Well, that's uh, pretty much it, folks. So if I did leave out anything or... Um, you have anything extra to add in feel free to comment or even do a video response and uh, One more note. I like to make um, you know if, if something goes wrong uh, I'm, I'm not responsible Neither is fast brokers. So, you know do this at your own risk, but uh, if you do have any questions or anything um, Feel free to contact me and I will help you as much as I can Other than that have a great day folks